Thanks for watching this screencast. In this screencast, we're going to talk about what one-to-one -one and onto mean. So our objective for this screencast is learners will be able to determine whether the discrete relation is one-to-one, onto, both, or neither. So here are simply the definitions of one-to-one -one and onto. Uh, we're focusing in this objective on discrete relations. In the last screencast, we said that a discrete, a discrete relation is a relation that is simply a set of ordered pairs. So in a one-to-one -one function, each element of the domain pairs to exactly one unique element of the range. What we're saying here is that each uh, element of the domain, each x value, has only one y. This one goes with only b. This two goes with only b. This three goes with only a. That's what we're saying. If I were to uh, make one more assignment and to say, I also want a connection between three in the domain and c in the range, then all of a sudden this would no longer be one to one. Let me undo that to uh, represent that's what we're actually looking at. This is a one-to-one -one function because, first of all, it is a function. And second of all, every x element has only one y. This is kind of the, the inverse of the thinking about in the previous screencast, is it a function or not? For a function to be onto then each element of the range has to correspond to an element in the domain. In other words, uh, maybe a better thing to write than each is every element of the range. Every element in the range corresponds with something in the domain. If you want to use some kind of informal logic or thinking or language, that might be the better way to think about this. Every element of the range also corresponds to something in the domain. So if I look at this function here, and I can see that it is a function, every element in the range, every element is hooked up to something. Uh, this up here, uh, this first function is a good example of one that is not onto. This one is not onto because the element C in the range is not hooked up to anything. This one is onto because everything that's in the range, D, B, and C, is hooked up to something in the domain. Okay, and rather simply, a function is both one-to-one -one and onto if it's both one-to-one -one and onto. If each element of the domain is paired to exactly one element of the range and each element of the range corresponds to something in the domain. Here's a great example of a function that is both one to one and on to. It's one to one because every element in the domain hooks up to only one element in the range. And it's on to because every element of the range is hooked up to something. There, there are no unconnected pieces in the range. So that's the concept that this objective hits at. And although it's brand new to you likely, it's also pretty straightforward and rather simple. You know what time it is. Uh, here are two functions that are given to you. And what I'd like you to do is to pause the video and on scratch paper or somewhere else off to the side of your work, uh, do whatever work is necessary. Try to determine for each function is the function one to one, onto, both, or neither. Hit pause, figure it out, and then hit play and you'll get some feedback. Okay, I was thinking as I work these out myself, it might actually be easier to take these functions given as ordered pairs and draw out the mappings, uh, not unlike what we looked at on the previous screen. So if I think about my x, my domain, my input values, I've got a negative 5, I've got a 4, I've got a 3, and I've got a negative 7. These are all my x's. And then the only three things that I see in the range are a 2, I see a negative 2, 
and I see a negative 11, I don't need to create that positive 2 again. And I suppose what would be important to do then would be to uh, piece together the mapping. So negative 5 goes to 2, 4 goes to negative 2, Looks like 3 goes to negative 11. And it looks like negative 7 belongs with 2 as well. Let's make a decision. Uh, is this 1 to 1 on 2, both, or neither? Is it 1 to 1? Does every element of the range hook up with only one element in the y? No. No. Uh, when y is 2, this guy here goes with both negative 5 and with negative 7. So this one is not 1 to 1. I found a y value that hooks up with two x's. Is it on 2? Is everything in the range hooked up? Yeah, I would say it's on 2. So I, the best answer would be to say that onto is the only description that works here. Onto. I'm going to pause again, and maybe you want to do the same if you hadn't done this before, and I'm going to draw the mapping for the second uh, function. Okay, let's see. Let's check and make sure that I've got that drawn correctly. Negative 15 goes with 12. Negative 14 goes with 11. Negative 13 goes with 10. And negative 12 goes with positive 12. Well, I think we have a similar issue in this example to the first one, in that this, uh, this function is not 1 to 1, because this value has two different input values. So it's not 1 to 1. It's on 2. And I guess the best description here would be that it is on 2. Thanks for watching.